Hey, this is Professor Perez again. Today, we're gonna to do some proportion problems. And of course, we can't get started without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. We're doing proportions. Uh-huh, you ready to go? Okay, here we go, right there. Proportion problems. All right, Charlie, well, what is a proportion, Charlie? An equation. That's right, it's an equation, but it's an equation of two ratios, which basically means you have a fraction equal to a fraction. Now, our goal is to solve for x there. Now here we can use the cross multiplication technique. We can cross multiply to solve the proportion problem. Okay, now it's important to realize that you want to cross multiply when you have a proportion problem. If you do not have a proportion problem, like this problem here, you don't want to try cross multiplying. How do we do that problem there, Charlie? Clear the fractions. That's right, we clear the fractions, remember? We did this previously in the semester using the LCD. So let's kind of review this. Here, what is our LCD for all these fractions, Charlie? 12. That's right, 12. And so we multiply through by 12, and 6 goes into 12 two times, so we get 2x, 3 goes into 12 four times, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 goes into 12 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9. That's our clearing fraction technique. And from there we can solve it, 2x equals 17, divide both sides by 2, and we do get x equals 17 over 2. So there's a quick review. Okay, so let's do our first proportion problem right there. Solve for x, Charlie, we're going to do our cross multiplication technique, okay? Here we go, Charlie, so we're going to cross multiply. We get this way, we get what? 3x. 3x, that's right. And then we go the other way, what do we get? 12. Very nice there, Charlie. So now it should be easy. What do we do? Divide, divide both sides by 3, and our answer is x equals 4. Very nice there, Charlie. All right. Let's do another one. Now notice here, Charlie, it's the same problem. But we're going to use a different technique. We're going to go back to the clearing fraction technique, right? Using the LCD. Well, notice here, our LCD is what, Charlie? Six. That's right, and if we multiply both sides by six, notice the sixes cancel, that gives us a one X. And on the right-hand side, three goes into six two times, two times two is four, and there is the same answer. So, you do it either way you want. A lot of people like to cross multiply, though, instead of using the clearing fraction technique when you have a proportion problem, right? But clearing fractions always works, right? Even on these proportion problems. Okay, here we go, Charlie. X over four equals five over six. Let's do our cross multiplying. What do we get? Six X. That's right, and this way, 20. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, how do we solve for X? Divide by six. That's right, divide both sides by six, so we get X and 20 over six. Dividing the top and the bottom by two, we get what, Charlie? 10 over three. Very nice there, Charlie, 10 thirds. All right, let's do some more. Here we go, Charlie. Now, don't get scared. Here we have x over 6 equals 2 over 3 fourths. Ooh, we got a complex fraction on the right-hand side, but that's okay. We're going to use our cross-multiplication techniques, right? So what do we get on the left-hand side, Charlie? 3 fourths times x. 3 fourths times x, and on the right-hand side, 12. Very nice there, Charlie, it's 12. But we're going to write 12 as a fraction. Now, how do you write a whole number as a fraction, Charlie? Put it over 1. That's right. And so now, Left-hand side, we have 3 fourths times x. Now remember, 3 fourths times x means 3 over 4 times x over 1, and so we get 3x over 4. For our left-hand side, it's the same thing. And that is equal to 12 over 1, and again, we can do what, Charlie? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. So we get 1 times 3x is 3x, and 4 times 12 is what, Charlie? 48. Very nice there, Charlie. And now, to solve for x, we do what? Divide by 3. That's right. And so what's our final answer here, Charlie? 16. There it is right there. X equals 16. Don't forget to box your answer. Whew. Let's do another one. All right, Charlie, here we go. 2x over 5 equals 3 tenths over 4. Right? Okay. So what are we going to do, Charlie? Cross multiply. Okay. We're going to cross multiply. But first, we're going to clear that decimal out, right? By multiplying top and the bottom by what? 10. That's right, we're clearing decimals. So, on the right-hand side, what's 0 0.3 times 10? 3. 
and four times 10? Four. There we go. So now we can easily do this by cross multiplying. What's 40 times 2x, Charlie? 80x, very nice. Five times three? 15. 15, and so how do we solve for x? Divide by 80. Divide both sides by 80, and we get x equals 15 over 80. But now we can reduce by dividing the top and the bottom by five. This is a little bit tricky. What's 15 divided by five, Charlie? Three. Three, and 80 divided by five is? 16. 16, very nice there, Charlie. All right, so that's our answer, three over 16. Okay, Charlie, we've got one more. Let's make it a good one. There it is right there. All right. Now, before we cross multiply, because we don't have a calculator, we're going to clear those decimals out. Now, notice on the left-hand side, we have one and two tenths x over seven tenths. On the left-hand side, to clear those decimals out, we need to multiply top and bottom by what? 10. That's right, Charlie, a 10. Now, on the right-hand side, notice we have four hundredths over three tenths. So what is our LCD, Charlie, with four hundredths over three tenths? Hundred? It's a hundred, yes. That's going to clear the decimal out. Remember, you cannot multiply the top by a hundred and the bottom by ten. Whatever you do to the top, you got to do the same to the bottom. Okay, now, we've taken care of our, our uh, clearing decimals. Now we're actually going to do it. What's 1.2 times 10, Charlie? 12. That's right. So we get 12x and 10 times 0 0.7 is 7. Now, what's 0 0.04 times 100? 4. 4, because you move the decimal two places to the right. What's 0 0.3 times 100, Charlie? 30. 30, because you move it two places to the right. Notice, left-hand side, we multiply by 10. Right-hand side, we had to multiply top and bottom by 100, right? To clear that 400 out. Okay, now, if we wanted to, we could reduce that 4 over 30, but we'll do it afterwards. Watch. Maybe easier for us. What's 30 times 12, Charlie? 360. Very nice there, Charlie. 360, because 3 times 12 is 36. So 30 times 12 is 360. All right, what's 7 times 4, Charlie? 28. Very nice there. And now to solve for x, we do what? Divide by 36. Divide both sides by 360. That's right. And so we get x equals divide top and the bottom by 4. What's 28 divided by 4? 7. And 360 divided by 4. 90, because 36 divided by 4 is 9, so 360 divided by 4 is 90, and that's our answer. Whew, that was a tough one. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon. Whew.